Tokyo Game Show happened and it was great and we got tons of Inazuma 11 news. But now that that's over and the dust has settled, we can turn our attention to whatever the next Inazuma 11 news drop is going to be. We currently have no idea when it's going to be, but we can start speculating about what it's going to be. So today I thought I'd put forward my five hopes for what I want to be shown in the next Inazuma 11 Victory Road of Heroes trailer slash news blog slash Hino posting something on Twitter. There is one rule though, and that's that I cannot say anything about a release date. It's too obvious. I mean, come on. Obviously, we all want the release date, but I do not want to just throw that in, you know, because obviously it's guaranteed. I need to start making the videos a bit more challenging for myself. So without further ado, let's dive straight in and make sure you guys let me know your hopes down in the comments below. First up, I want to see some of the new teams. We know Nagumahara. We know Raimon, the new Raimon, but we don't know anyone else. We've maybe seen some hints at them at some potential captains or star players or whatever, but we do not know the teams. We don't know their themes. We don't know anything. I want something revealed to me, whether it's one team, whether it's two. I'd love to see like something like three captains. That would just excite me. You know what I mean? I want to be as excited for story mode as I am for Chronicle mode, or as I am for Victory Road mode. And currently, it's not quite there. But just seeing some of the new teams would really, really do that. Give me some opponents to want to absolutely beat up. Give me something to sink my teeth into that we don't already know. Number two is more new Hizatsus. So we know one, which is Shunrai slash Spring Thunder. But outside of that, we know none of the other new Hizatsus. And that, to me, is a crime. What attracted me to Inazuma 11 at a young age was seeing stuff like a dragon flying across the screen. So I want to see more stuff like that. I want to know what the new Hizatsus are that I'm going to fantasize about doing, uh, you know, in my garden. I don't have a garden. I need to know what the new thing is that would have hooked seven year old Tom. It's all well and good telling me about online modes, but I need to see his Zatsus. I think especially at a time where, you know, fans are a bit nervous, they're not going to get to use as many Hizatsus as they could in the past because of the changes to TP, it would be great to show off a bunch of new ones. You know what I mean? Really get people excited about special moves again. Maybe I can do a video speculating about some possible special moves. I don't know. Number three is an explanation. Who the hell is this lad? We got introduced to this guy in a prior announcement, but we know nothing else except for the fact that in a trailer, he's shown to be vibing in the Chronicle Mode bus. What does this mean? Does it mean he's from the future? Does it mean he's from the multiverse? Is he Doctor Strange? We know he's meant to be related to someone, but we don't know who. It's all well and good speculating, but I want to know Hino. Teach me Hino. Enlighten me Hino. Tell me everything there is to know Hino. His head is too good to be ignored for this long. What I also want to know is what's going on with the dubbing situation. Currently, all the English language blogs are using the Japanese names which is slightly terrifying. As bad as some of the dub names are, they're incredibly charming and a big reason why I could get into the games as a kid. The dub can be funny, quirky, corny, and cheesy, and all that kind of stuff, but it's why I enjoy those first playthroughs so much. Because seeing what kind of weird names they've come up with is just amazing. Whether it's Easy Breezy Goat or whatever, is that what it's called? Easy Breezy Goat? That feels wrong. There's just constant bangers, and I really want them to return. So please, you know, let me know what's going on, because I'm slightly terrified. And finally, I want to know what's going on with the rest of Nagumahara. We know like five or six of the players, but then we don't know who the rest are. Do we get to choose that, like in Azuma 11 2 style, or are they just not really important characters? Whatever the case, I'm really interested and would like to know. So Hino, if you don't mind, please reveal the rest of the team. We've already seen the entirety of Raimon. It'd be great to then see the entirety of Nagumahara. Show me the random defender I am going to get incredibly overly attached to. But yeah, those are my hopes. Let me know what your guys' are down in the comments below. And make sure you like, subscribe, and all that typical YouTube jargon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.